Hi, I'm Rick, and I'm here on a cloudy and damp morning in Virginia, which will take any day after the heat wave we've had. And this video is part of the uh, BackyardChickens.com contest on how to raise your chickens. And my uh, video demonstration here is how to put your coop up on wheels, or as I like to call it, how to make your hen hideout into a getaway coop. So, let's get started. First thing um, is the swing arm. Uh, this I made out of one uh, inch PVC, but you can use other materials like uh, a two by two piece of wood or maybe a flat bar stock. The bottom line is here is you want to attach it to your pivot point. I used a 5 16 bolt and I jam nutted it so it's nice and loosey goosey. That's what you want here because this is going to be swinging under your coop when you put it on wheels. And then you need a hole big enough for your axle, in this case uh, 7 8 inch. And you got to be careful when drilling a hole that big on PVC because it tends to chip out. So if you go too fast you get a hole that looks like this instead of a hole that looks like that. So just saying. And what you want to do is just put in a small uh, starter hole and then uh, you know take your time drilling the bigger hole and you almost want to kind of melt the bigger hole right through the plastic so get the plastic nice and hot and it won't, won't chip out like that. So the uh, important thing to know here is you need uh, the distance from the bottom of the coop to the pivot bolt uh, about two inches shorter than the distance from the pivot bolt to the axle hole. So in my case this, this distance is nine inches and then the distance from the pivot bolt to the axle is 11 inches. So that gives me two inches to allow the axle to clear the corner of the coop as you're swinging it up on the wheels. So that's the swing arm. Uh, the axle itself <coughs> is 5 8 inch. Uh, rod, it uh, needs to be 5 8 inch because the axle hole on the wheel is 5 8 inch. However, uh, at Home Depot and Lowe's, they did not have a long enough 5 8 inch rod. They only had 3 foot ones, and my coop is 4 foot wide. So I looked around for something else I could use other than just going to a steel fabricator and getting a 4 foot piece. And I found out that a half inch galvanized steel pipe uh, is actually, you can actually stick a 5 8 inch rod inside a half inch galvanized pipe. Now. Don't ask me why that is. Maybe if you know a plumber, you can ask him. It just is what it is, and it works. And it'll, uh, it's a press fit. You can slam it down with a sledge, and it'll go in three, four inches. And you have yourself an axle. It's even better than a solid steel axle. It's lighter weight, and it's also galvanized on this part. So you may have to grind down the edge uh, of your uh, 5 8 inch rod if you uh, mushroom it out a little bit. It might not fit through the wheel, but. You can just grind that out on your uh, bench grinder. And also you need to do a, a hole for your uh, lock pin. I did mine on a, a bench uh, drill, or a drill press, sorry. Um, you'll need to make a dimple to start your hole because it's a round surface, so your, your drill bit will walk unless you uh, you know hit it with a uh, punch or something to get the hole started. You can do it with a hand drill and a bench vise if you have some patience, if you have some good drill bits. But obviously, if you know somebody has, if you have a, a drill press or know somebody has one, they'll go a lot better for you. So that's the axle, and I'll talk about the tire a little bit. I bought this from uh, Harbor Freight, and as my wife will tell you, I almost never buy anything from Harbor Freight right here. I never, <laughs> hardly ever go there. So, but anyway, um, this tire it's a flat free, what they call hand truck tire, and it's not pneumatic it's it's all solid rubber so it won't go flat on you it holds about 275 pounds and um, it's 13 inches in diameter and really uh, if your coop is really heavy and uh, you have like a rutted yard like we do you really need a, a bigger tire like this like a lawnmower wheel or something it won't work for you because it'll just uh, make ruts and dig in and, and not be so good so um, that's the tire, so I'm going to assemble this real quick. Oops. Put this through here. Alright, my 
like that. And let's put a washer here just to keep a little spacing. Keep the wheel on. Another washer. Keep the wheel bearing, uh, bearing in place. And then finally the lock pin. Okay, so now we're ready to go. And this is the part where I'm going to actually roll this coop around my yard with one finger. So, and I guess the reason uh, I put one at a wheel system for my coop is two things, to roll the coop off the base to help clean the base and to uh, use it as a, as a ch uh, chicken tractor, roll it around the yard, give the chickens a little bit different part of the yard to uh, forage around in. So basically you can put wheels on any coop that you can lift up about a foot. So you can lift either end of your coop up about a foot. You should be able to fit a system like this and it should work for you okay, especially if you use big tires. Now if you're using pneumatic tires, they're a lot cheaper, but they tend to go flat when you need them most and they got to be pumped up all the way for uh, lifting heavy objects. So I just, for the hassle factor, these were about, I think, $15, $17. So maybe $5, $10 more than uh, the pneumatic ones, but I thought it was worth the money. So, since this is the heavy end of the coop, I'm going to put this up on wheels first. As I lift up about a foot, the, uh, the wheels will tend to go under the pivot point, and then they'll just keep swinging under, and then I set it down, and it's an all, all automatic thing. So watch as I do that. Hopefully I get the motion right. Oops, there we go. That's the heavy end. Now the light end is a lot easier to work. never happens. <laughs> One of the swing arms was uh, stuck, so it, that's because I just took it apart. Oh, yeah. There we go. Perfect. Now we're up. So, now with this finger, I'm going to push this coop down my yard. So, here we go. And it rained today, so the yard's a little bit wet. And now with this finger, I'll push it the other way. And now I'll take it off the wheels. And it's the same motion, it just works the other way. And you got to make sure when you make your wheel system, the wheels don't swing out so far they, they hit you in the ankles, because that'll obviously not be good. Okay. And there you go. If you want more information on how to put your coop on wheels or make your hen hide out into a getaway coop, go to www.backyardchickens.com. Thanks for listening. <laughs>